as much heartache and pain as I went through through not playing through three years and sitting on the end of the bench with all of my friends in the stands feeling embarrassed that I wasn't playing, making excuses, blaming, complaining, it was everybody's fault but mine. Like going through that is what has allowed me to have certain perspectives on things now. So I wouldn't change that for anything. One of the first, and I guess we'll call it failures that I, I remember, um, was as a college basketball player. Um, when I went to Elon to play basketball, and this had been a, a lifelong goal of mine to play collegiately, and yes, it's Elon College. It's not Kentucky, it's not Duke, it's not Carolina, you know, so it, I had to temper my expectations. Um, and I got there and I played a decent amount as a freshman, and then I caught what I now call the complacency bug. Mm. I, I lacked the humility. I thought I had arrived. I told myself, you're a freshman, you're playing a lot, you're just gonna ride this out for the next four years. Like, why would you not be a, a four-year starter if you start as a freshman? And I got lazy. I, I, I spent more time with my fraternity than I did in the gym. I stopped coming in and working on my game. And like every good college coach does, they try to out-recruit their current players. They try to bring in better players than they currently have. And our coach did that. The next class, brought in better players. Not only that, my class all was still working on their game. I was the odd man out. I was the black sheep. I thought I was good enough. And come back my sophomore year, and everyone had made massive progress, and I hadn't. So the natural result is, I don't play. I don't play very much. And I didn't take that very well. I didn't like sitting on the end of the bench with my, my, my shooting shirt on. Now, I'm at a distinct fork in the road. I have two options. I can have a bad attitude, I can blame the coach, and I can be mad at the world, or I can actually get in the gym and work on myself and earn time. Unfortunately, I took the first path. Mm. I decided to blame the coach. I decided to work even less than I was working before. It was everyone's fault but mine and did nothing but make excuses. And I did that for the rest of my college career. I hardly played at all for my last three years of college. And it was all because I had an awful attitude. I made excuses, I blamed, I complained, I didn't put in the work. As embarrassing as that is for me to share that, because that is the exact opposite of what it is that I preach and teach today, both on stage and on page, going through that has made me who I am today. I have massive empathy and compassion when I meet people that have bad attitudes, because I had an awful one when I was that age. You know, when, when people think they've arrived, when they think they don't need to do the work, when they blame, complain, and make excuses, you know, I lean in with empathy and compassion because I was that person at that time. Now, thankfully, I can look back with some maturity and go, boy, the, the 20 year old Alan was a knucklehead. My parents tried to talk sense into me, I didn't listen. Like, so I, I owned that. And, and that outcome that I got was not the one that I wanted, but I owned that outcome. I was the reason that I did not play very much uh, in college. And I can look back on it now and, and I've forgiven my previous self. Like this is not something that keeps me up at night. That is, that is an older version of me. And I've given that guy some, some permission to be less than perfect and I've moved on from it. But now when I meet players and I meet entrepreneurs and I meet people that are in a similar predicament, I can speak with the zealot of a recent convert because that is exactly who I was.